In this video, we'll be looking at the exponent laws. And to start with, we need to recall the work we've already done with exponents. So for example, if I have the statement 2 to the exponent 3, this is a statement that's in exponent form. And I could write this as 2 times 2 times 2. And if I write my exponent form this way, 2 times 2 times 2, then I've written it in expanded form. Remember that when we have something like 2 to the exponent 3, the whole thing is a power. The number 2 represents the base. The number 3 represents the exponent. So we want to go a little bit further now with our work with powers and exponents. So let's consider a question. 2 to the exponent 3 multiplied by 2 to the exponent 2. Let's look at this by rewriting it in expanded form. So in expanded form, this would be 2 times 2 times 2, that represents 2 to the exponent 3. And we're going to multiply that whole thing by 2 squared, or 2 times 2. If I drop the brackets, I have 2 multiplied by itself 5 times. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Which I can then collapse back down into exponent form because I have the same number multiplied by itself five times, I could write that as 2 to the exponent 5. Is there a relationship between the original question and the final answer? Or is there some sort of shortcut that you can see that would let us go from the original question to the final answer in one step? Do you notice how we could look at just the exponents of each part of our question, and if we added the exponents together, 3 plus 2, we would get 5, which is the same as the exponent we end up with in our final answer. So we want to know if this always works. So we think maybe that if we look at these two exponents in this question, 3 to the exponent 4 times 3 to the exponent 3, and add them, we would get the number 7, which means 3 to the exponent 4 times 3 to the exponent 3 equals 3 to the exponent 7. We think that works, but we want to make sure it works. So let's try this the same way we tried our first example. I'm going to rewrite this as 3 multiplied by itself 4 times. Multiplied by 3 multiplied by itself 3 times. We could drop the brackets, but that won't really change anything. Instead, I can count up and see that I'm multiplying 3 by itself 7 times. So it does work. 3 to the exponent 4 times 3 to the exponent 3 equals 3 to the exponent 7. And this is something called the product rule of exponents. So if I have some value raised to the exponent a, and I multiply that by some value raised to the exponent b, and if my two bases are the same, then I can simplify this to the same base to the exponent of a plus b. So when we have two powers with the same base being multiplied together, we can simplify it by adding the exponents. Well, what about division? What about, say, 5 to the exponent 5 divided by 5 to the exponent 3? 
What do you think will happen? We'll do this the same way. I'll write this in expanded form. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 divided by or over 5 times 5 times 5. Notice how I could cancel some terms in the top with terms in the bottom. I have three terms of 5 in the denominator, three terms of 5 in the numerator that can all be canceled with each other, which then leaves just 5 times 5 in the numerator, or 5 squared. Is there a relationship? Do you notice that if I look at the exponents and this time instead of adding them together I subtract them, I end up with a number that is equal to the exponent of my answer. Let's try this one more time just to verify that the rule works. And I'll do this a little bit differently this time. In the other examples we've had numerical bases. Here I'm going to use a variable as my base. x to the exponent 4 divided by x to the exponent 3. And if I write this in expanded form I would have x multiplied by x, multiplied by x, four times, divided by x times x times x. Again, terms cancel. x is in the top, cancel with x is in the bottom, until I don't have anything left except one x term in the numerator. So x to the exponent 4 divided by x to the exponent 3 is just equal to x. Again, look at that relationship. 4 take away 3 is equal to 1. Remember that if you have a term or a variable with no exponent, we understand that when there's no exponent written, it's really equal to 1. So there's an invisible 1 right there. This leads us to our second rule for working with exponents. This is called the quotient rule. And that is if I have some power divided by another power and they have the same base, I can simplify them by leaving the base the same and subtracting the exponents. One last example to look at, 2 raised to the power of 3, all raised to the power of 2. Why don't you pause the video now and see if you can come up with some relationship that would help us simplify this. I know that I could write this as 2 multiplied by itself 3 times. And then square it, so multiply by itself again. So this is 2 cubed and another 2 cubed. I have two of those statements, so that's really 2 cubed squared. Counting up the number of twos I have, I see I have 6. Or, in this case, 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6. So there is, again, a relationship between these question and answer. And this is the final rule for the video. This is the power of a power rule. And that is if I have some power raised to the exponent a, all raised again to the exponent b, that's equal to the same base raised to the exponent of a times b. So just in summary, we looked at three rules today. So the product rule, 
some power with a certain base multiplied by a power of the same base. And we can simplify that by adding exponents together. The quotient rule, again, some power with a base divided by a power with the same base. And we can simplify that by subtracting exponents. And finally, our last rule, power of a power. If I have an exponent raised to the power of another exponent, so here c to the exponent a raised to the exponent b, I can simplify that by leaving the base the same and multiplying my exponents together.